Hey guys, welcome back to Divinium Customs. Uh, today we're showing off Mystery Saber number 16. This is one of my favorites. It has a lot of complex machining. All of these bits are machined by hand. This is 100% from scratch custom saber. We've got a copper uh, wire wrap here. We've got a copper button there and a sterling silver button there. The chassis has a speaker cover that works as a pommel vent and looks really cool recessed in there. That comes off like that. And here we have the crystal chamber. Here we have a sunset or a quartz and some copper conduit behind there. Sterling silver there, sterling silver there, and an OLED screen in there. And again, we've got our copper button and our silver button. And our set screw is hidden. The emitter piece actually comes off here. Uh, and we can see a set screw right in there. So we can position the blade plug so that it sits below the threads and then we can just screw the emitter back on. This plug is special because it's uh, made by Griff Custom Lightsabers. Um, he does some of the most uh, mechanically complex hilts I've seen. His work is phenomenal. When he uh, teased this blade plug with his, I want to say, Mark 7 run, uh, I asked if he could make one. He said yes. Uh, so he did this as a, a one-off outside of the run for me. And I'm um, giving it away with this hilt. It's just too perfect for the hilt to not. Now this is where things get a little interesting. This chassis is removable. It actually threads into the emitter, so you can technically duel with the chassis exposed and call this the grip. Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend it for a few reasons, but it is possible. So watch what happens when we take the chassis out. So this is a um, old font, Crystalline Workshop, by uh, I believe Novastar, and it uh, automatically triggers when you remove the chassis from the hilt. When we take off the bottom here, we have access to the chassis itself, and it's set up to do USB-C charging and data access, and I've made sure that the uh, chassis is clear so that you can see the charging indicator through the chassis. Super handy. And uh, as you can see, as I'm doing right here, you can charge it with a portable charger because it's USB-C. You can plug it into your car. Uh, it's really handy and really useful. Something to make note of, however, you want to position the OLED when you place it back in because this will pull the chassis out a little. So press it in and pull it out. Make sure you're positioned properly. This OLED screen has uh, some custom animations. There we can see the battery level, but when you turn on the saber, you actually see an animation of the saber with the grip coming off and the blade lighting up and the crystal sparkling, which I think is pretty cool. Currently on OS 6 and OS 7 beta, there isn't the option for um, off effects. But I've added the BMP files on, or I guess they're PBM files. I've added them on the hilt on the SD card, so it is possible to uh, add them in down the road. I've also uh, added a little slot at the top of the threads there to make it go on easier. It spins on. Everything lines up nicely. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to the hilt that I can think of right now. It's one of my favorite mystery savers to date, uh, and one of the most complex to make and to wire. The electronics are just packed in there. It's got USB-C charging, USB-C data, 18650 full 15 amp battery, uh, OLED screen, profi board. Uh, it's got everything you could ask for in a chassis and it's translucent. That was a bit of a pain to get to print properly too. Thanks for watching. May the force be with you. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the hilt. 